Hey, this is Phil Lemon from One Little Goat uh, with a quick tutorial on the latest firmware version 4 for One Little Remote's versions 2 and version 3, uh, which uh, has better uh, acceleration on the dial for focusing and also allows a couple of extra features like uh, frame rate changes and codec changes. The One Little Remote has two settings. Double tap the dial, get two flashes and you're in focus stop mode, which allows you to set and use focus stops. Hold the dial till the LED flashes once and you're in normal mode where you can set camera settings. To change a camera setting, tap, double tap or hold one of the buttons. The LED light will flash to indicate that the setting is now active and you use buttons 3 or 4 to change the setting on the camera. You can either single press to move individually or you can hold a button down and it will cycle through quickly. Once you're happy with the setting, press button 1 and it will be saved to the remote. So if you turn the camera off and start it up again, it'll remember the last settings used. So dial acceleration and focus stops and hard stops have been greatly improved. So if on the dial, you can actually go in nice and close and do very fine adjustments, or you can actually move quite quickly to things that are further away. So say like that vent back there. So very, very fine movements and longer movements all in one go. So you don't have to actually set your coarseness anymore. It's all built in automatically. To set focus stops, double tap the dial to go in the focus stop mode. Dial in your first position. Press and hold either button 3 or 4 to set your first stop. The LED will flash twice. Dial in your second setting. Hold the other button down till the LED flashes twice, and now your focus stop is set. To move between focus stops, simply press one of the two focus stop buttons and you'll move towards that stop. If you want to edit the speed of the focus stop's transition, uh, press button one, and the LED will start the flash to give an indication of the speed. If you turn the dial, it can go faster, or you can slow it down. Once you're happy with the speed, Press button 1 to just set it back to the focus stop and then use the buttons again to move between the two stops. Hard stops are good for controlling the speed manually between focus stops without having to worry about overshooting uh, your focus marks. And you set a hard stop by double tapping uh, the focus stop button. So for instance, the, what you want to do first is set your furthest away point. So stand up here and I'll set that to button 2, so if I double tap. Now if I move in nice and close and I'll dial in my focus and then I'll double tap button 3. Okay, so now if I move back and hit button 1, oh, I should say now I can dial button 1. See, so yeah, I've just I've whipped the dial all the way around, it hasn't gone past the point. If I whip it all back the other way, it's now set the focus to up up close. So I can actually control my focus and keep myself in focus between the two points. So you can see if I turn it off I go out of focus but if I go back with it it keeps me in focus. Alright let's start the mobile app which you can get from um, Google Play or iTunes. Just search for One Little Remote. Once the app started uh, tap the Find Remote button It'll do a quick four second scan and list all the available uh, Bluetooth devices. Here we go, OLR3. Um, now the remote will be named either HC08, uh, BT05, or um, OLR. So if you just tap that entry, it'll connect up um, to the remote and load the settings. Here we go. All right, so there are basically three parts to the app. There's the first um, page here, which has um, all your lens control. So it's got focus, zoom, and iris. And then up the top left, there's a button. If you toggle that, that puts you through the camera controls, which have your audio, your ISO, white balance, etc. Now, one other section is the remote settings section. And this is where, if you tap the remote settings button, this is where you can actually customize um, the type of camera that you've got. So you can choose uh, a micro cinema camera or a micro studio camera and that affects the way things are displayed such as um, your shutter and your ISO are displayed differently. Okay so you can actually choose, you can set what SBUS channels you want 
from uh, 1 through to 16. You just have to make sure that the camera remote menu settings are the same as what they are in the app. And you can also designate um, what button function will activate uh, each of the settings on the camera. So in this case, we've got record, uh, record set to channel 1 and button 1, 1 press. So I might change that to not assigned because, well, number one, the remote actually uses uh, the dial now for toggling um, recording. Uh, but also, if you wanted to use an Ursa mini handle, you could do that. And so I might put, oh yeah, iris is set to button one. Let's see, focus, I'll make that unassigned because that's permanently done through uh, the dial. Uh, let's see, ISO, I'm gonna set that to button two single press and I might do white balance. Yep, that looks good. So once I've set them the way I want them to be, I basically I just go save S bus changes and that literally updates the camera and now the buttons will work the way you've just told them to. Okay, now actually one thing to point out, the first time you start the app, before you can actually control the camera, you need to come into the remote setting area and put in under service ID here, and characteristic ID here, FFE0 and FFE1. Once that's done, what you want to do is save, tap the save IDs and name. That'll just, basically that updates the remote and then it disconnects. Now because we've already connected before, we can tap the use last button and it'll connect us straight up to the camera and load the settings. There's been some changes made to the uh, lens controls in the app. First of all, we have the, uh, the quick selector for focus, where you just drag along to the point where you want to go. Underneath it is the focus stops bars, and you toggle the different functions of focus stops between set, use, and delete. So if I want to set them first, basically I'll drag to one position, and I just tap the focus stop that I want to set. I'll drag to my other position, tap the focus stop there, and then I can just toggle to use and then just tap each focus stop that I want to go to. And I can control the speed that it travels between the focus stops using the speed slider here. So I can slow it right down. And I can even speed it up live to see how it's going to affect it. Also, I can ramp up and ramp down as well, up to 50% of the travel distance of the focus. What that does, ramping up basically means it builds up speed gradually. Um, until it reaches the distance of the ramping and then by that point it's reached full speed and then when it hits the ramp down area it slows down and eases into the stop. Okay so beneath that we have like a little uh, joystick slider in the middle here and basically the further out you pull it the faster the focus travels when you let it go it snaps back to the beginning and stops. Zoom is the same we have a little joystick slider for zoom as well as specific speeds that you can choose for zooming in and out and stop. Iris is pretty straightforward, just simply toggle up and down. Now if we switch to the uh, camera settings, we've got a, a slider for the audio, and the same thing for all the other settings, just you can toggle up and down. Now what happens is when you hit a setting, it sends off the instructions to the camera, and once it updates here, that's the setting that the camera is actually using. And as before, you have the record, start, and stop. And that's it. When you finish, simply hit disconnect, and that should save the settings to the camera.